Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this video is going to be my 10 month hair transplant update and this one I'm going to keep it very short and sweet. So before we dive straight into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload hair transplant updates every month in the middle of the month and there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm planning to do as well but it's more like nerdy and geeky and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, check it out. If you have any questions at all throughout this, feel free to pop the questions in the comments or if you wanted to stay anonymous, you can always message me on Instagram and I will keep it confidential. Okay, first things first, I'm 32 years old. I had an FUE hair transplant at Vinci Hair Clinic in London. I decided to get it done in London because it was the middle of a pandemic and I didn't want to fly to another country. It cost roughly £4,000 and that included the hair transplant itself, FUE, from the back of my head to the front of my head, as well as one session of PRP injections. But I am planning to go back and get another session of PRP within the next month, I think. I am taking finasteride, one milligram tablet, one tablet three times a week. So I'm spacing it out. You guys said that that was one of the good ways to avoid getting any of the side effects that you don't want to get. And luckily I have not noticed any side effects so far. So fingers crossed that continues. I'm also taking two of these every day. This is the Ideal of Med Hair Vitamins, which has got all biotin, ginseng, and zinc in it, which is all stuff that's supposed to really help boost your hair. Um, and I'm also taking one of these every day. This is the Vitruvian Line Hair Supplement Vitamins from Vinci Hair Clinic. If you decide to get your hair transplant done at Vinci, you can get these for free by using my code, which is in the description box down below. So check that out too. And then the other thing that I am doing now, started using Regain. Someone in the comments in one of the previous videos that I uploaded said that the topical foam stuff is really, really good. Um, and to avoid any of like my of my original hairline falling out anytime soon, I've decided to, to start taking Regain. So I've been doing using this for a month now. One month of Regain. It's the topical foam and you only need to put like half a cap full onto the areas where you want it to go. This is 5% minoxidil, which is very much like finasteride. It is a um, variant of Propecia, which helps to slow or stop hair loss. So I am doing this every day. That's where we are right now. That's everything that I'm taking for my hair. Let's take a look at where I've, I've come from to where I am now, and then I will show you what the hair looks like right now. And you can enjoy looking at the new hairline. And here we are, 10 months down the line. I've just had my hair cut. I had my hair cut yesterday, so I'm really freaking pleased with it. I have never had my hair this short before. Definitely not before I had the hair transplant done because this section here would have been like empty and this section here would have been empty as well. So it's really nice to actually have short hair and it, and it look good. Yeah, it's never, I've never had it like this short and it looked this good before. So I'm freaking pleased. I'm really, really pleased with it. Here you go. So I'll pull this back and you can see it is it, like, the smile that it brings to my face. It's just ridiculous. It makes me so happy just to like show this. It's um, it is looking good. I'm still, there's still, I'm 10 months now down the line and it usually takes anywhere from a year to a year and a half to have like the full, full results and I think along with everything that I'm taking and everything it should actually really help to boost what hair I had originally as well as the the new transplanted hair so it can only get better from from this point a lot of people have commented on the hairline being too straight saying it doesn't suit my face I don't care what you think because to me I freaking love it I I love this straight hairline that's what I wanted from the very beginning um, that's what I've said that I wanted I wanted it lowered and straightened and here we are today with a nice straight low hairline <laughs> and um yeah it's exactly what i wanted it's it looks fresh it looks new it looks good i'm very pleased and the back of my hair you can't see any scarring so i'm just going to turn around and hopefully you can see the back of my head i'm sure she's taking it shorter than i took it and um i'm very 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 impressed i'm very pleased with how this has gone i i love it really 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 love it 
And there you have it, that's pretty much my hair transplant as it is 10 months after I got it done. I like it and that's what's most important. I know there are people that won't like it or there's people that will like it. Um, each to their own. You're entitled to your opinion and um, I'm, I'm just happy with it, so it's all good for me. Remember guys, if you do decide that you want to go to Vinci Hair Clinic, which is where I went, don't forget to use my code when you book your initial consultation and you'll get a free three month supply of the Vitruvian Hair Vitamins by Vinci Hair Clinic on your surgery day. So it's worth doing if you decide to go to Vinci Hair Clinic anyway, because then you get the free vitamins. Right. I'm going to leave that there. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all my previous videos on my hair transplant. The playlist will be linked at the end of this video. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next update next month. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.